Hey, what's up friends? Hope you're having a good day. Today we're gonna do a little Christmas reveal animation. We have a mat here that says Merry Xmas, and we are going to have these clones fall down to reveal this mat. All right, we have a cloner in our scene, and we have all these different snowflakes, and we have a very simple uh, dynamic setup here. If I get out of this camera, you're gonna be able to see that we are actually projecting from below. So there's a plane here which is hidden and these snowflakes are just falling down. Oops, I'm actually going the wrong way here. These uh, snowflakes are just falling and they are landing on this plane here. But when you look through the camera, it kind of looks like these snowflakes are flying at you, which is really cool. All right, so how are we going to add this mat? The first step is to make all these polygon objects. So if we go to our cloner and hit C, you'll see that we have our extrude nerves, but we also have these other objects. These are instance objects, and we don't want that. So let's go Control Z so that we can get back to our cloner. And it's doing that because we have our instance mode set to render instance, and we need to change that to instance. That way it's going to make one uh, spline and extrude for every single snowflake in here. So it's gonna take a second to calculate because there's quite a few of them, but the second it's done, we're gonna go ahead and hit C again on this guy. So we'll hit C and we have all of these as our splines and extrudes. And now we wanna make them polygon objects. So we're gonna highlight all of them again and we're holding Shift C to highlight all of them. Then we'll hit C to make them all editable. It's just gonna take a second here. And here we go. So we have a polygon object, and then we have our UVW coordinates tags and some other selection tags on here. So let's apply this texture. So we'll go to the texture, and because everything is highlighted, we can just right click on the texture and hit apply. It's gonna apply that to all of our pieces, but you're gonna notice that we have a few problems. First of all, it is not projected anywhere close to correctly. So we're gonna do this with a camera projection. The way we're gonna do that is, first of all, we're gonna get rid of all of these UVW tags. We don't need those. We do not want it projecting with those UVWs. And then we're gonna highlight all of our tags, and we are going to change the projection mode to camera mapping. And because our camera is pointing directly at these pieces and where they land, we're going to use this camera. We'll drag and drop it into the camera slot. And now we have the camera mapping for all these textures. All right, there's just one last thing. This is a perfect reveal spot, but if we go to the beginning and we hit play, it's not actually sticking to these different snowflakes. It's just kind of sliding through them until the reveal and then it looks right. All right, so we'll go to the end where it reveals and let's click on all of these tags again. We'll right click on them since they're all highlighted and we're gonna generate new uh, UVW coordinates. So generate UVW coordinates. It's gonna add another UVW uh, tag, but this one will be in the proper spot where we want it to be. Now, if we go to the beginning and hit play, the texture will be stuck correctly to all these different pieces and it's gonna fall and as they fall into place, it will reveal the final mat. And there you go, we have a really easy and simple and fun animation. Shout out to Alessandro Bancho for coming up with this and sharing with us. I hope you guys have a very special holidays coming up soon and thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.